arguably the most important role in a Speakers League meeting is the evaluator, because the evaluator provides feedback to help a speaker improve. Giving evaluations and listening to other people's evaluations can also give us insights to help us better succeed with our own speeches. In this, the first video in our series on effective evaluations, we're going to be talking about the suggested structure of a good Speakers League evaluation. The most important thing to remember when you are evaluating someone is that you have to be in service to the person you're evaluating. What does it mean to be in service to another person? It means that what you are doing is about that other person and not about you. So, when you're evaluating, it's not the time to be clever or amusing or turn the spotlight on yourself. Noah, can you please demonstrate this? I liked your speech because it was about camping, and I love camping. I recently went to the mountains with my scout troop, and man, you wouldn't believe the unfortunate way I discovered a beehive in the restroom. In fact, the topic of the speech is almost never a part of the evaluation. What is being evaluated are the presentation techniques used during the speech, given the speaker's goal and experience in Speakers League. So, let's talk about the four steps to giving a good evaluation. They're all on the Speakers League evaluation forms. Step 1, 2, 3, and 4. Price, would you please demonstrate? Step 1. State what the speaker's goal was. Okay, so Janelle gave her vocal variety speech today. The purpose of the vocal variety speech is to add volume, pitch, rate, and quality to add meaning and interest to the speaker's message. That's really all there is for step one, to remind people what the goal of the speech was, and to get the speaker and audience ready to hear how the speaker met and could improve on this goal. Step two, give examples of how the goal was met. Janelle found a number of ways to use vocal variety in her speech. For instance, when she was describing how her dad reacted to the situation, she changed her voice to represent his, and she also used pauses effectively to add humor and demonstrate her shock over the situation. Step 3. Suggest one or two areas for improvement generally related to the goal of the speech or skills covered in previous speeches. One of the things I focus on when I'm giving or evaluating vocal variety speeches is the pacing or how fast you're talking. Uh, this is an area where I think recording and listening to yourself may be helpful. That way you can hear how it's harder to understand when you're speaking fast or things like that. You might also hear how funny it is when you use different voices, like how you used your dad's in your speech. I'd like to hear even more of that. I think it was at those times that the audience was most engaged. See how you can provide criticism, but it is done with some suggested techniques for improvement. Finally, step four, close on a positive note. As always, you looked professional and I thought you showed a lot of eye contact. Your gestures and your confidence were also very good. You obviously spent a lot of time practicing your speech and it really paid off. Mr. MC? There you have all four steps. By finishing with the positive comments, you sandwich the negative between the two positives so that the criticism is neither the first nor the last thing at the year. Bear in mind what speeches members have already given, or not given. If they've never given a visual aid speech, don't be too critical of a lack of visual aids. If they are giving a visual aid speech and have previously done a gesture speech, feel free to mention successes or ways to improve gestures. You've probably heard the term constructive criticism. We'll learn more about constructive criticism versus destructive criticism in part two of our series on effective evaluations. Be sure to check speakersleague.com slash video or the Speakers League channel on YouTube for all of our training videos. never mentioned in and to better improve is almost never about <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so uh, today... Give an example on how... Uh, he gave his uh, speech on um, camping. Uh, I just want to say... I L-O-V-E love camping. But the thing is, we didn't know that there was a beehive in the restroom. You would not even believe... It's a beautiful view. But unfortunately, some kid was crying over a popped beach ball. <laughs> <laughs>